Well, this isn't the piece of news that I thought I'd be waking up to, but let's talk about it either way. The Montreal Canadiens are going to be losing out on Carey Price for an extended amount of time, as the NHL and NHLPA have announced today that Price will be away from the team to voluntarily take part in the player assistance program. Now, when I woke up and I saw this, I was like, okay, what is that? Like, I need to Google what in the world that is, the NHL's player assistance program. And after a quick search over here onto the internet machine, the NHL and NHL Players Association started their player assistance program in 1996. The jointly funded program assists players and their families with mental health, substance abuse, and other matters. What matters here is that Carey Price is going to be taking care of himself in whichever way is appropriate. So, because Mark Bergevin had a press conference that literally just ended off a little bit ago, and I can't just rip footage from that and put it here on the YouTube, we're going to be reading tweets, we're going to be going over stuff and giving my opinions about this because, I mean, it's my show, we're going to do what I want. Take a look, we also have some more stuff from Pierre Lebrun, all the insiders were talking about this, this statement was released publicly on the NHL's PR Twitter account. But as we go forward with some of the tweets, you can see what Bergevin has to say about the entire situation today. I'm not thinking about Carey Price, the Montreal Canadiens goaltender, but Carey Price, the human being. That's kind of what we want to focus on here in the entirety of this video. The fact that Carey Price is indeed an individual, he is a human being, and therefore we should treat him as such. As you can see, the tweets are coming out here, the support is coming out here, the live number for the likes and all that is updating as we're looking at this page over here. We had ourselves Angela Price as well, going out on Instagram posting a statement, we're going to be reading this over here. Part of the privilege of being in the position our family is in is that we also get a public platform to show how there is and can be a path to light for anyone who is struggling. No matter what is on the line, we hope we can communicate the importance of putting your mental health first, not just by saying it, but by showing up and doing the work to get better. Carrie's showing up for himself and our family and making the absolute best decision possible for us. I will continue to show up for him and our kids and seek out the support that I may need on any given day, and it's incredibly important to us to show our kids that asking for help and letting yourself be supported by others is not just okay, but encouraged anytime and under any circumstance. So a very nice, very well put together statement over here, just highlighting the importance of being able to talk about these things and take those steps to allow yourself to get better. And, you know, as we learned with Jonathan Drouin, this stuff is extraordinarily important. Hockey comes secondary when it comes to one's own mental well-being. And for Carey Price going out there, making this decision, it had to have been a tough one. Absolutely. A very big, difficult decision walking away from an NHL team, especially as their franchise starting goaltender. But, again... Hockey is secondary when it comes to one's mental well-being, and for Carey Price to make this decision, big ups to him. He will be out for a minimum of 30 days, but it could be longer, just like Mark Bergevin mentioned in the press conference earlier today. He also asked what was his response. If he saw it coming, he says no, he did not see the Carey Price news coming, and that it's difficult to comprehend just how important Carey Price means to him. Take a look at the tweet over here. Bergevin has asked what Carey Price means to him and the relationship he has had with him over the last nine years. Bergevin was visibly choked up, fighting back tears, answering, it's hard. He also said that he met with the players earlier today and informed them that Carey Price left for the player assistance program, so the rest of the team knows as well. They're going to be probably just giving their support behind the scenes. That's definitely an important part to this too. And that's kind of what the rest of the fans need to do as well. I'd seen everybody on the Twitters talking about how they're behind Carey Price, how they stand behind Carey Price, and how they're supporting him every step of the way. And that's kind of what we love to see over here, man. That's kind of why it's important to go out there putting a spotlight onto mental health and other issues related to that. So for Carey Price, he's going to be getting an outpouring of support from myself, hopefully all of you as well who are watching this video. But we also had a little bit of other news news to go over before we end off this piece. It's talking about Bergevin and his contract, because we had ourselves some other discussion points going on in the press conference about that. It does expire at the end of the season, so this is what Bergevin said about putting off his contract extension talks with the Habs until the offseason. The rest is business as usual. It is what it is. I do my job the best I can, and I always have. There's nothing that changes. There's no distraction here. As he is in the last year of his deal, this quote kind of means that he is just going to go out there, try to do the best that he can, and see what happens. Business as usual, as he said, right? 
Friedman had to say the same thing, that there is no extension as he enters the final year of his contract, and then we had ourselves Pierre Lebrun talking about the hypothetical. So Bergevin is not signed to an extension before the season begins. His deal expires June 30th. There still is time to address it after the season, but it's not currently a positive sign as far as him staying in place past this year. We'll see, though. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Carey Price and his decision to go out there and step away from the game? Joining the NHL Player Assistance Program, I think you kind of know where I stand on this. Carey Price is an important hockey player, but his sacrifices, all the stuff that he has endured with the Canadians, it's a lot. And ultimately, everybody has to have an appreciation for this guy and the body of work that he has done. And therefore, I mean... Player assistance program on the NHL team, no matter where he is, Carey Price is a human being, and Carey Price should be putting himself before the rest. So, either way, you know, this team's going to be fine. I like Jake Allen a lot. You all kind of know that. I really do love Jake Allen, and I think it was Habs Chronicle who posted a tweet about it, but it's Carey Price's sacrifice that allowed... Jake Allen to stay on this team as Carey Price exposed himself in the Seattle Kraken expansion draft. So there's a lot that Carey Price has done for the Canadians. The least that we can do is be there for him too. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Price? Bergevin of the contract talks. I hope you enjoyed this with Josh Wells and I. And that's kind of miraculous now that they've gotten Montembeau because he's going to be the backup, I guess. And bye.